My friends and I go to Lorenzo Walker Technical High School and are enrolled in the multimedia program. Recently, we got the opportunity to go to Bonita Springs on a field trip. While researching for the field trip, we came across something. Something interesting. The Fountain of Youth. Now we head out to find if it's really out there, or at least find something resembling it, while exploring Bonita Springs. So the history behind this is that in the early 1500s, the Spanish came in search of the Fountain of Youth and they came across Bonita Springs, but they failed. So tomorrow we are going to head out to find this Fountain of Youth that has never been found. This is elementary school, right? Bonita Springs Elementary School was built in 1921 and has since stayed a school. It is currently listed on the National Registry of Historical Places, being one of the only registered schools to continue to serve its original purpose today. Even though this class field trips just went to the new springs, we ain't about that. We're taking advantage of this. I kind of feel like this is going to be canceled. Thanks to Mosherson's brand new camera. Thanks, Mosherson's dad. Yeah, my dad got it for me. Yeah, okay, he said that yeah. about 10 times already. Bonita Springs is actually believed to be long inhabited before the Spanish arrived. Archaeologists believe mankind were in Bonita Springs around 10,000 years ago, and Native Americans 4,000 years ago. The rich coastal environment was quite beneficial to the villages that settled there. They prospered in agriculture. But both sides are four across the road. Go. We're jaywalking. Oh my god, this is fancy. Springs. Shangri-La Springs. <gasps> it might be here. The fire no youth is here. Oh. You don't tell everyone that, Judith. We're trying to get it for ourselves here. The name of the town is Benita Springs. It's because there's an actual um, mineral springs here on campus here <gasps> on this uh, property and we can take a look at that. It's not much to look at. It's a little bubbling mineral spring. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that like what they found and they thought was the fountain of youth but it really wasn't? Maybe yeah. this is like, maybe it's like... Maybe they check them. Like, low. You know maybe what I mean? This like, maybe this is a mineral springs because it makes sense. Right where we're, we're right next to an elementary school full of kids. I just, and that then, doesn't make any sense. That, <laughs> that, no correlation whatsoever. No correlation. Really? Cause, yeah, because they're kids. They're cut. supposed to be young. How do you think they get the kids? Just cut. <laughs> Just cut. First place was a bus. They had a fat one, but it was kind of gross and nasty. I'm not drinking from that one. Yeah, we're not going to drink. So. And and not only that, the fountain of youth is supposed to be crystal clear and clean, so that obviously can't be it. Give us that renewal energy. Maybe, yep. Maybe I need water. Yeah, I also Benson's Groceries is a popular small town general store. It wasn't always a general store, though. The spot was originally a garage owned by the inventor of the swamp buggy, Ed Frank. Later damaged by several hurricanes, the spot was rebuilt into a small building that later became a local supermarket. As much as this is very nicely set up by the stone thing, this is it. I feel like this is too easy. Like, also, this can't be it. And would you drink that? No. Yeah. And remember, it has to be crystal clear as well. Well, even if it was, I wouldn't drink it. Sim point fact. Trying to get no poison, no sickness. This is probably gonna make me less useful if I were to drink this. Facts. Yes. The Lyles Hotel started out as a small tourist camp in 1926. The hotel is a two story hotel and has a campsite, later adding individual cottages. It was built to cater to the tourists living in Bonilla Springs for fishing and hunting. The Lyles Hotel helped promote the growth within the city thanks to its connection to the rest of the world. The hotel was purchased by the city of Bonilla Springs in 2003 and was incorporated into what is now Riverside Park. Oh, that looks like that could be the fountain of youth. It's a little dirty. Yeah, but it's cleaner than all the others. 
Remember, it has to be crystal clear. We just jump in. I think we don't have to drink it. We just have to jump in. Or some way have it be in contact with it. Hmm. Try it out. Probably the reason why they say no swimming is because they don't want well, us to find out the truth. Look. So we never found the Fountain of Youth, but that didn't stop us from enjoying the rich history of Bonita Springs and its vast natural beauty. This was certainly an adventure to remember.